The history panel shows you each step that you've taken to process the photo in the develop panel and goes all the way back to when you imported the image. If I hover over the settings starting from the beginning, I can actually see a progression of how I process this image. By clicking on one of those steps, I'm brought back to that history state and those changes are reflected in my image. If I were to start processing this photo again, then all of the history states above that are going to disappear and be replaced with my new steps. When you preview the before and after of an image, by default, Lightroom will select the photo that you imported as the before state, but you can actually change this. So let's say I'm happy with my changes here and I want this to be my before setting. In other words, I only want to see the changes of the before and after from anything I do beyond this point. To do that, I'll go over to the history panel and right click over that history step where I want to create that before image. I'll select copy history step settings to before. There's not a huge change in the image at this point and if I were to try and do a before and after, nothing changes because now this is my before setting. So from here, if I were to add a preset and then toggle a before and after, the before state is not from when I imported the photo, but rather from when I set it in the history panel. You can also clear out your history at any time. This doesn't change the settings in your image, it just clears all of those steps in the history panel.